Okay. Hello and welcome to the webinar regarding targets. I presume that we are going to do this in English today as is the preferred language. Uh, please note that you can use the Q&A button on your screen if you want to ask a question. You can just press Q&A and we will answer your questions as we go. So what we are going to talk about today is the targets module. This is a new budget module in sales screen. This is an updated budget module to better be able to follow your recommendations and your wishes for the budget setting for your teams and your employees. Some of the new highlights in the target module now is that you can automatically have a new period created in your budget. You can have more functionality regarding filter and you can also have automatically summarized targets for your company and your teams. As before, you can set product targets and you can also now edit multiple periods at the same time. So I will just jump right into targets in sales screen. Note that if you have budget set already for the period that we are in now, you will meet your previous periods and your previous budget already set for you. But let's see how it looks when we enter a new budget or a new target in sales screen. You will find the target module when you press the manage button at the corner and you will find it underneath targets. So in order to, to create a target in sales screen, you need to specify its time frame. Uh, each target belongs to one period and you will be able to create different kind of cycles for your budget setting. So let's say you have a weekly budget or you have a monthly budget or you maybe you set budget for the whole year as one. For this example, let's say that we want to set a budget for one month at a time. I then create a cycle of one most month per budget. Then you can specify the time frame you want to create the budget for. You can, for example, set for month, one month or you can set periods ahead of time. What you will see is that your target periods are automatically set for the time frame that you have entered into the create periods table. When I click create, my uh, budget periods are created and I am ready to set new targets. Note that you can uh, see your periods under the manage targets button here on the top corner and you can also edit the uh, name of the uh, budget and you can also edit the time frame if you want to. So how to set a target for your product and your employees. So what we can do is that we can add a new target by pressing the add target button. You can see that you have a choice over the period time. You can set for this month or you can choose what team you want to set your budget for. For example, you can set for one team or you can set for all the teams at once. You can set uh, the budget for one or several users in the team and you can choose either to set a budget uh, type and you can set for a specific product. Note that if you choose one or uh, one of the products you cannot set a budget for the whole product type as a whole. So you could either choose to have for example all of the sales products or you can choose to have one of the sales products uh, with a different budget. You can set a quantity goal and you can also set the value for the product that you have entered. So for this example, I have set a product budget for the sales category and it's a quantity of 10 and a value of 1000 for all the users in the Oslo team.
We can see now that the sales budget has been created for all of the users in the team named Oslo. You could add targets also for the different product, product categories, for example, also for activities. You can do it the same way, choose your team, choose your product type and set a goal for each of the employees in the team. If you want to edit more, one or more of the target set for your employees, you can just uh, edit them by pressing this button and you can uh, edit or delete the selected ones. What you will see is that when you have a budget set for your employees, it will automatically summarize to a total budget of, for the whole team. So that you can see that the summarized quantity of 250 will then be automatically summarized to set the team budget. So team also has a team budget now set for a quantity of 250. If you want to have a different team budget than the summarized one, you can uh, click it and enter another quantity or another value for the team. When you want to enter a new value for the team budget, you will have a notification saying that if you do edit this summarized target, it will no longer use the individual targets to the team budget. The same goes for the company budget. You can also set a company budget or you can use the summarized budget for, for the individual budget set already for you or you can go in and edit and set a different kind of company budget. If you want to add a new period, you can do that by pressing the add period button and you can do it the same way by pressing the monthly cycle and you can also then set budget ahead of time. For example, if you want to set budget for the upcoming period, you can go and set the budget for the whole year. You will find the upcoming budget under the manage periods button and you can also see budget set for you when you enter a different time frame. If you want to edit the name of the budget, you can press the edit button and you can set another name for your budget. If you want to copy the budget, the target set for one period into the next, you can use the copy target button here. So what you will see is that you can set budget for uh, one or several periods. You can set for the whole team and you can also set for the users and choose one or several product types. The similar targets you can use for your team or your company or you can set uh, an individual target for your team and the company that is not regarding the summarized target for the individuals. If you want to learn more about the target module, you can read about it by clicking the button in the corner and you can see our previously asked question and more documentation regarding how to set the targets and how to use the different cycles. If you have any questions, you can also use the live chat in sales screen or you can uh, ask your key account manager. So that is a quick overview of how the new target module look and how you can set targets for your teams and your company. So thank you for your time and I hope this was some information for how to set your budget.